What's up everybody? Welcome to What's in the Bag 2022. Just started back, playing a few live events, finished T8 at the British Open. But again, this is what I played with at the British Open, at the Open, they call it the Open. But guys, I've got 14 clubs in here, good thing, because 15 would be penalized. I don't clean my wedges, I just practiced today at Dallas National, so my wedges is, are not cleaned. But we'll go through the bag and showcase to you guys what's new this year. There is a couple new things. So anyway guys, we're gonna go through the wedges first. Yeah, we've got some uh, wedges here, they are artisan. Uh, a little lead tape on this one, but it's a specific sole grind and groove width. Yes, they are dirty, Brian. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, this thing is built a little differently. It's got a shaved front edge. A lot of it for, I just like a square face first off and a little bit sharper so it digs in a little bit. Uh, but it's also raised off the ground so it catches the ball on the front end and makes it spin a little bit more. And the grooves are super thick. A lot of bounce because I have a steep angle of attack onto it. Again, this is the same thing I've used pretty much for the past few years, so nothing's changed. This is LA Golf Texas Rebar. It's just a different color than last year, but it's the same shaft, nothing different. And again, going back to Jumbo Max, same grips. It is the same thing, Ultralight, JMX Ultralight XLs. Been the same thing since a couple years now. That's what I use with the wedges. This is a 58 degree, then it goes to 53 degrees. And again, another artisan, same width, groove width. Then it goes to 47, then it goes pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven, all the way down to a 17 degree lofted club. But these are the uh, new, I think these are actually new this year. They actually are new. MIM Technology King Tours. So they are the next iteration of the one length. So these things are hollow inside, even though it looks like it's a normal golf club. All that underneath is hollow, which is pretty cool. They have this lattice structure that stabilizes it uh, to make sure it doesn't cave or anything. So yeah, this is what's in my bag. You may not be able to get these because they're not still on the one length version of them, but you can get the variable length version if you want. It goes all the way, not pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, six iron. Then it gets kind of interesting. My five iron, yes, it's 20 degrees aloft, okay? You guys think I loft jacket because I hit it far, that's how I hit it farther. I produce too much speed that produces too much spin. When that happens, you have to de-loft it in order to get the spin rate down. Because if I had a, a normal five iron, whatever that is, uh, I'd be spinning at like 6,500 RPMs and it'd be flying 150 feet up in the air. It's unplayable. It's an unfortunate but positive consequence of speed is that you have to lower the loft. So you actually get a double effect of like, okay, it's going back to your original spin and it's lower loft, which creates more ball speed. So that's kind of cool uh, for me. It makes it even go farther. So when you hit it farther, you can even hit it farther uh, with the equipment because of just the way friction works. So I have that and then I got a new one in here. We're testing this out. This is a Tech Utility 17 degree lofted club. Should be 16, but this uh, bad boy was very helpful in the British, the Open Championship. And then we go to Hybrid. Now this is a cool head cover from the Ryder Cup. Um, it's got everybody's name and signature on it. Look at that Bryson DeChambeau, kind of sweet. But this thing I've used for a while, I gotta get a new one. This is the King Speed Zone it's from a few years ago. And you can see clearly how used that is. I hit a little high in the face, yep, and a little low. This is the club I used to top it at the Players' Championship, so <laughs> that was my fault. It's got an LA Golf shaft in it. Again, all these have LA Golf shafts in them. Same, pretty much the same shaft profile, except in the wedges. The wedges are a little stiffer. But this is a uh, Tour Shaft Bad VD 185 TX. I've just been using it for a while. 41 inches in length. Oh, I don't even know what that means. But So I've been using this for a long time, the past couple years. It's been great to me. Oh, there are there are 15 clubs in here, but this is my backup long driver, so don't judge me. This is a three wood. It is the Rad Speed. It's worked well. It's got rails on it, really cool. See, I hit, use it a lot. I hit it in the middle, sometimes. The ferrule's coming off, and we'll get it fixed next week. I've been using it too much. Uh, it's a three wood, 10 degrees of loft. Look, 10 degrees of loft. Yeah, it's a three wood. It's got the same shaft in here that I've used for the past couple years, LA Golf Tour AXS. It's an LA Golf shaft, 43 inches tipped one inch. Same grip. Nothing crazy, guys. It's the same, sort of the same stuff, but we got the driver from this year. And this next year, I'm gonna see it in October. I'm telling you, this is the driver I've been talking about for a few years now. This is the LTDX LS, 58 and a half degree lie angle. I like lower lie angles for whatever reason, it's been working really well for me. Three grams of weight in the toe, six grams of weight in the heel, more heel bias. It's a little too much loft, six, to, six degrees of loft. You know, for whatever reason, it's working really well with this low lie angle. And at this low lie angle, they don't have low enough lofts yet. They're working on that. But again, it's an LA Golf shaft, 45.75 inches. Jumbo Max grip. You'd see I've clearly used this grip a lot already. And this thing is actually super sturdy. I've gotten this thing over 200 mile an hour for, a, for quite a while now. And I really don't see any change in the face curvature. So this CNC milling is actually very impressive. Uh, I've not seen something this solid in a long time. Very pleased with the face on this. I haven't had to do anything with it. It's just stock right out, of the, right out of the bag and it worked really well. I'm impressed with that. But next year's model is gonna be even better. Lastly, but not leastly, we've got the long driver. This thing has a wider face. But yeah, it's a wider face. It's got five degrees of loft, so the right loft. LA Golf shaft. It's actually a softer shaft, 45, 47, five eighths, straight in. It's got 240 CPM, which is the oscillation 
uh, they do with that same Jumbo Max grip. But yeah, this thing is a beast. 195 grams, a little heavier than I like, but when I get the worlds, we'll lighten it up and I'll swing it faster. And the putter, this is the behemoth. Thick shaft, it's an LAGP shaft, C2L 180. I know exactly what that stands for. It's a special shaft they made for me to accommodate deflection. So this thing doesn't deflect very much. It doesn't like boing, bounce off. Works pretty well. Still uh, trying to fit it in. It's got a longer hosel. I'm comfortable with it, it's just about, I haven't practiced my putting enough recently. Jumbo Max grip, got this thing. Just for that, lock it in, roll it down the roll. Look, roll it down the chalk line, roll it down the straight putt. You guys know what I'm talking about. We also have a couple different things here, guys. This is what I had in the past video, but alignment rod, and then I've also got rulers. Now these rulers, you know, we use quite a bit. It's got my distances on here. I decided to come up with this uh, system back in 2018, where, you know, you take it back to a certain distance, and that's how far the puddle goes for a 35 foot or 40 foot or 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. But yeah, that's my system that I use, and I, it works really well. You we have A-Shock down here, local IQ, LTDX, rain gear, cover, that. Oh, T-Claws for speed training. I, we, I didn't know I had these. Usually there's charts and stuff in here, I think. Yeah, a bunch of charts and a bunch of nonsense. Look what's in here. Just a bunch of gloves. This is Brian's pocket, which is really cool. That's, I don't really go in here because it's his pocket. I'll go down here. This is where I keep all my golf balls and Sharpies and alignment tools. So this is a tool just for locking in the head or whatever. Matter of fact, I'm gonna lock in the, that's that little weight. Yeah, so here we go. We got this, I use this all the time to line up my golf ball. I use a red little Sharpie line. Makes it super clean. Boom, fits in there really nicely. And then band-aids in there if I get blisters or something. On to the next, next pocket. Oh, this is our books. This is where we have all our books. So all of our, you know, that's from the British in the Open Championship. Just putting pin locations in there. Where I put all my tees and golf balls and my Bose headphones. So my Bose headphones go in here. Cleansed. You can hear the tees, just a bunch of tees. This is where I keep like all my credentials and everything. Oh, player 2022. My little goodie bag with Rolex in there. This is the uh, Ryder Cup Rolex. This is the US Open watch that I, the Rolex was nice enough to make me after I won. What else do we have? Oh, Bushnell. Boom, easy access. You're one yard. <laughs> I take it easy, okay? Use that to clean the clubs. But I'm not gonna do that here because I'm in my living room. Oh, net jets towel. You got it. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, this is for when I cry. <laughs> or when I gotta blow my nose or something. And we got one more pocket. What's in that pocket? Oh, it's my food pocket. So I got my water bottle and then, this, oh, this is where all the electrolytes are right now. Yeah, there's usually like food in there and all that stuff. PB&Js and all that, but they're not there right now. Pretty simple, but this is what's in my bag for 2022. And then we're probably gonna make one later this year because we've got the new driver coming out, which is gonna be so sick. I wanted to let you guys know that we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So for anyone that likes, subscribes, comments, uh, and also shares my page to, you know, Instagram or whatever, you guys will be eligible to get this new Crushers hat. So obviously with uh, Live Golf, I am uh, the captain of the Crushers. So we wanna be able to give this first edition hat out, fresh right out of the box, but you get to firsthand have pretty much the only one outside of my camp, a new Crushers hat. So if you do those four things, one of you will be selected to have this Crushers hat. Pretty cool. All right, everybody, this is uh, my what's in the back for 2022. Uh, this is gonna be here probably through October, I think. Um, then we'll probably get the new driver to test. Things gonna be a beast. Comment uh, what you guys wanna see in my bag next, like if there's something you would like to see in the bag or, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to this week. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to everything that we, we can keep providing you with content, entertainment, and great golf. I mean, that's all it's about. And we're gonna be giving back. We're gonna continue to give back. I mean, this is small, this is nothing. So I'm very excited for the future, not only for Liv and their future, but also the city of Dallas and what I can do here.